Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I hope you're doing fantastic and you're ready for a stimulus check update, for stimulus check update, what's happening in DC and around the country. Everything you need to know about the economy stocks. I'm also giving away $2,000, which I will talk about later. Let's get into the stimulus check update, what we got going on. Stimulus check update plan would resume $300 monthly payments. This is another one that just came out. You can see it's uh, March 1st. That's today, folks. Also, in a speech from Biden, we got uh, Biden hits, well, if it'll go here, uh, Biden to shift from Build Back Better bill to a four-point economic rescue. So since the Build Back Better, I guess we're going to switch gears and actually have a four-point economic rescue plan that'll help people out. As you know, gas prices are out of control. We have issued checks before in the past. Even Obama has issued emergency checks, so we could see that. See that. The IRS is assigning more workers to deal with huge backlogs of tax returns. Lots of people waiting on that to be able to get their, their actual stimulus money. Also, stimulus check update. We're going to cover, could Americans be getting an extra $650 due uh, to the stimulus checks? We're going to cover that, this extra money on the way during tax season and all thanks to stimulus checks. That's right, a little bit of stimulus money to overflow during the tax season, and now it's yours for the taking. Also, we've got a decline in government. Spending could hurt many in 2022, as we're seeing that. And also, we have uh, ads here. Uh, latest on push for one group that is pushing for a four stimulus check. I'm going to cover that uh, as well. This is good, though, $650 more is then we can expect or we were expecting coming in the news. This is really good stuff. Find out if you're getting that $650, how a decline in government spending could hurt many this year and how the latest push for one group of people are getting, potentially getting a forced stimulus check is actually working. It's actually gaining momentum. We got a lot happening. Of course, Ukraine's happening, but stimulus is there too, we talked about an earlier video about the Build Back Better World Plan with China. So we got a lot of stuff happening as things are moving. It's Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. My goal is always to give you the best information to access government money and private money. Also, uh, for your business, you can get up to $5 million. I have a link in the description, 12 different types of programs, 75 banking partners that I have. You can apply in 15 minutes. And you could easily um, be approved, possibly approved in 15 minutes, fill out a simple application. There's no fee, no obligation, and it won't impact your credit. So make sure you check it out. If you're approved, you could get money in as little as 24 hours. So stay tuned to the channel for your personal finance real estate in the description too. Uh, we got that loan link, but we also got more content. That's for entrepreneurs and people wanting to start their own business and be able to access loans. It's all in there stuff. I sit down with entrepreneurs and break it down there. There's free stock down there as well. So, and crypto for free in the description. So check it out down below. Be sure to subscribe though and comment and like the video that you could get as much as $2,000 for that. All you gotta do when we hit 200,000 subscribers is be the lucky winner that gets picked from a random comment. So first subscribe, then like the video. Hopefully you enjoy it. And then put a comment, a random comment will be picked when we get to 200,000 subscribers and I'm launching out $2,000. And also, if you wanna transform your financial life with real estate and build wealth, $99 courses in the description for real estate. I spent $40,000 in professional fees, $45 million in experience, and I put it into 36 videos in a resource list. It's ridiculously inexpensive at $99. It's not gonna be here for long. So make sure you check it out and thanks to my patrons who support the channel for as little as $3 and grab your three free stocks down below. Make sure you don't miss out on that. But first, the IRS recently released data that tax refunds issued in 2022. They issued that out, which showed that the average refund issued so far is $656 higher than in 2021's refund. Obviously, this is great news and for the extra money, many will be because many Americans receive stimulus funds and also, hopefully, you made more money. According to the IRS data, the average refund issued so far in 2022 is, get this, $3,536. This is up from $2,880 in 2021. 
That means the typical American who has submitted their tax return so far has gotten an extra $656 back. The pandemic relief bill provided $1,400 in stimulus to eligible adults and their dependents. It also expanded the, uh, the uh, extending the child tax credit for $2,000 to $3,600 for children under the age of six and $3,000 for ones that are older than that. While just part of the original child tax credit was refundable, the full amount of the expanded credit is. So you can get the full amount. So it means some people will get back considerably more money than they paid in taxes. This is good, right? You paid for taxes and then you got more money than you paid in. How often does that happen? The point is you're getting more money. And that's always great to hear. It's always great to report. It's always great to talk about. Meanwhile, let's talk about government money and how it could affect you. A decline in government spending and additional stimulus funds in 2022 could hurt many Americans that are depending on additional support, like SNAP, which we cover, also SSI, SSDI, and unemployment. As many people collecting SSI and SSDI have noticed, they've had an increase in their Medicare medical costs that outweighed what they received in SSI and SSDI, although the uh, government, our politicians, don't seem to even want to emphasize that. It's sad because we've had higher inflation that's more than offset that 5.6 or 5.9% increase in COLA, and we're still having issues. With the explosive economic growth that we saw in 2021, probably won't continue in 2022 because of the fiscal drag. That's what they're calling it, fiscal drag, which is when there's less money from the federal government going out to regular folks like you means you're not getting it. It's like your allowance is cut off, right? As much as 22% of Americans' personal income last year came from the government benefits. 22%, 22 cents on the dollar came from America's personal income last year, which came from the government, including Social Security, including stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment, and also PUA, as well as that child tax credit. That ends in December. So imagine 20 Two cents on the dollar came directly from the federal government. It's quite a bit. So government spending could affect your personal income if you relied on SSDI disability, SSI, SNAP benefits, all of that, etc. In regards to government spending, there's a lot riding on government spending straight to get it straightened out. As there's an omnibus bill that was talked about today by Mitch McConnell, I watched him. I didn't see anything really fruitful other than them yelling at their Democratic compadres that they can't put stuff together. So I didn't have anything to report on that because it's just more mudslinging by politicians, which we see a lot of that, right? And finally, a nonpartisan adv uh, advocacy group, the Senior League, Senior Citizens League, the TSCL, state is, uh, says a movement to get a forced stimulus check for seniors is still moving forward and even gaining some momentum. The group issued a call to Congress to take action for Social Security recipients in September of 2021, citing rising costs in Medicare, food, housing, and transportation, which many of you are so well aware of. The petition asked for $1,400 payments to people on S Social Security. The petition has been signed by more than 95,000 people, according to the recent tweet that came out from the TSCL. The petition says, quote, soaring inflation has taken a toll on household finances of retired and disabled Social Security recipients, end quote. Enough said, right? Petition continues, quote, in 2021, the Social Security benefit increased by just 1.3%, raising the average benefit by only about $20 a month. But about 86% of Social Security recipients Surveyed said that the expenses increased by much more than that amount, end quote. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to figure this out, right? If something costs you $5 and you're getting three, you probably can't afford it. But this has got to be changed. This is great news, though, that they're fighting back and putting this out in the forefront. Probably the best I've heard about Senior Citizens League stimulus checks as seniors have been left out of so much of stimulus 
If you have a senior, know that they have not had their fair shake in this matter. They've had a tough go of it too. Some are down to one meal a day. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your story uh, about these stories and what you guys think of what everything that's going on. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please place it in the comments. I love reading them. Take care. Love you. Bye. So yeah. does that give us like a cultural abandonment issue? Oh, for like sure. Like if you, if you had 9 million dads come in <laughs> and then yeah. you had 9 million dads leave. I'd have daddy wouldn't, issues. Wouldn't you have daddy issues? <laughs> yeah. I'm I not saying you do. I was buying a racetrack. For $28 million in Wait, Utah. Wait, was it the Larry H. Miller? Yeah. That literally is five minutes from my house. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. It's not your fault. It's just, it, it's you know, really it's a... So, I do need your autograph here. Will you sign so, one of these for me? Uh, we'll, get, we'll get to that. <laughs> That's probably what got you back up on your feet. Okay. Yeah.